for fuck's sake. Is it gone? Let's see what we load into. Where was the last place that it saved? <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait. Hey. It was like, I think we saved scummed a bit. Look. Maybe we have a chance of him coming. Okay, let me just switch all my stuff again. Hang on a second. Uh, what is this? Making a new slammer ri rim world. Fuck's sake, chat. Rim world. Rim, rim world. And, um, holy, holy jeebus. Man, I don't know what it is with Prison Architect. I find it, like, impossible to get into. Like, any time I go to play it, I last for, like, two seconds. And I, I, I just I think I've lost my passion for that game. I can't let it go. The one-man dream. No, no. It's the one tortoise dream. Terry's ready to go here. We got 8.3 days. We're, we're going to... We're, we're ending this one positively. We're going to end it positively, okay? It's fucked. Fuck this game. Oxygen not included. Okay, here comes the siege. This happened last time too, but actually it was the raid. It was a raid and then a siege. Okay, it's a double siege. You gotta be joking. <laughs> These guys are gonna siege me. Sieging from down here too. <laughs> Alright. Hofstater, you can do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a believer. Oh fuck yeah! What if they siege down the spaceship? Stay safe, Terry. Uh oh. Direct hit on the weed. Oh shit! The <laughs> fire popper. Oh my god! He got hit. <laughs> oh my. God. God, he got hit. Unbelievable. The whole hospital just got, just got iced. Uh oh. Everyone is dead or gone. <laughs> okay, keep playing. What happens then? Are they just gonna raid us until can't raid no more? 7.7 .7 days to go. Terry must survive. We're gonna see if, if Terry's... Terry's... Oh, shit. Okay, fire should not spread on marble, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> the sensor cluster has been damaged. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, fuck off. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no, Terry! Okay, little Terry Jr. and a couple of other tortoises have died as well, but Terry's still in there. Base is getting smashed up good though. Oh man, building all of this out of a pure stone was such a good maneuver, wasn't it? What the hell happened in this prison? Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Okay, how much longer? 7.3 days. I think we can do it, chat. All of the- all of our people are dead, yes, but... Have they gone away? Oh no, they're having a sleep. <laughs> okay, they've just gone to bed. Got another full, busy day of sieging tomorrow, so... Luckily, the ship is sturdy, I know, right? Terry. Okay, Kakos has got the flu. These poor animals are fending for themselves. This is what it's like after the... This is kind of like what happens to a colony after the ship leaves, right? This is what happens. Oh, God. Our, our beautiful colony, look at this. Unbelievable. Let the animals leave to kill. No, I don't want to. They're safe in there. They've got food and stuff. A couple of tortoises died, yeah, but it's fine. Okay, 6.9 days, guys. 
Okay. Looks like we got some blight here. And another siege is turning up. So that's three sieges now. Are these guys sieging each other? No, they're not, right? Oh my god. Come on, ship. These guys can't aim for shit. We've taken a direct hit to one of the engines, Captain. Terry's not going to be able to fix the ship, though. That's the only thing. So if any of the components get knocked out, we're screwed. Right? Can they run out of ammo? I suppose they could, yeah. I don't know how many shots they have left. 12, 12 incendiaries left. Uh-oh. Parts of the base are very much on fire. Looks like they've given up on trying to hit the ship for now, though. Just sort of hitting everything else. Uh-oh. My workshop is on fire, and my storage area is on fire, too. Depression. Uh-oh. Oh, my hydroponics are wrecked here, too. <laughs> okay, now they're assaulting the colony. Taking some of them out. Okay, they've stolen a bunch of stuff and now they're leaving. Looks like these guys are. F Look at this guy. Okay, we took a couple of them with us. It looks like they're sleeping again. Okay, 6.1 days? Terry might make it to space. Capture him? Well. No, I can't. <laughs> There's nobody left alive. The, the only person who's left alive is Terry. Uh, and his crypto sleep casket has seen better days. It has taken a little tiny bit of damage. Come on, Terry. Come on, my son. You can do it. You got this. I hope he does. Oh, fuck it. Well, we're on this. Let's try. We'll try to do another uh, Rich Explorer run. We'll, we'll do it in a different biome this time, though. Desert was garbage. Well, we won't use the uh, the smoke leaf industries thing this time either. Another, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know what else to play. Just playing Prison Architect made me feel like playing this again. Fucking Rimworld. We'll get some different mods this time too. Oh, the Jeff Land test. Yeah, we could do that too. We could try doing the Jeff Land test. I don't even know if we can launch this thing. It's like virtually, it is It is entirely unmanned. Do a tundra or a tropical rainforest. 300 mods. No, I think we're just gonna get like prosthetics. Some sort, some like prosthetic mods or something. I wanna make a base in a mountain this time as well. I wanna do a mountain base. We'll, we'll play on a mountain tile. See if we can get like uh, some better defenses set up. Play Mace Swinger. Yeah, I could do that, yeah. Get Rim Feller and Rim Atomics. Okay, I wanted to, I don't want to get any mods though that, that um, push my colony worth too far up. You know what I mean? I want like a, a naturally progressing difficulty and not like an artificial one. Mountain tile. Yeah, we're gonna do mountain tile. Rim feller is great. Mountain bases suck with all the infestations late games like every two minutes. Really? Okay, we got a raid coming. It's more pirates. They've landed right on top of me. 
and are stuck. They landed in the worst possible place. And now they're getting sieged by other pirates. Tim has been knocked out. We've taken a couple of pirates with us. Use Glitter World Tech Advanced Prosthetics and a dog. And a dog said animals bionics. Expanded prosthetics and organ engineering. Okay, I'll get that. Expanded prosthetics and organ engineering. Man, I thought you were playing Prison Architect. I know, I was going to. And I decided to play this again. I don't know why I'm playing this again. I got so angry at it before. I vowed to never play it again, and now look, I'm back. I'm trying to launch this turtle into space. We've got 4.9 days left. Hopefully the raiders just ignore the ship. It seems like they are, actually, so far. Man, how much ammo do these guys have? Still a lot. <laughs> Look at all the trails of blood. Look at this base is such a mess. It's going to be nothing for them to steal soon. I need a detox. It could be the Knights of Terry with the medieval mod. I don't know if I want to do the medieval mod, though. I think I just want to do, like... Basically what we just did without the smoke leaf stuff and then with like some enhanced um, bionics and shit like that. You died so that Terry could live. They'll get a new drop pot of ammo when it runs out. Oh right, okay. CK2 has a new start date. Uh, you gotta be in the mood though, right? You'll be in the mood for CK2. 4.5 days. What's this? Oh, the assault has begun. They're just scavenging the, the base, trying to find anything they can find. Whoops. Watch out. Looks like you found a landmine. <laughs> Alright. Well. Maybe we just, maybe that's the way we win. Just set up a decoy base, put all of our wealth in there, and then just hide everybody in a panic room. Let them take whatever they're gonna take, and then we could have like we could have a total we could have a pacifist run. We could take like people who won't fight and then just hide them in, in like a panic room every time we get raided and let like turrets and shit do all the work and then when they're all offline just hide in a bunker and then people just steal stuff and go away. Maybe that'd work. Should we try? It could be fun, right? Yeah, but if you do a mountain base, the spiders won't leave. Right, okay. So the pacifist run we'd have to do on a non-mountain base. I mean, we can get turrets and stuff set up too. Robot plus plus, it adds robots and they do the stuff for colonists too. too frustrated for such a tactic. Raiders will set fire to stuff and wreck important infrastructure and workbenches. That's okay, we can just rebuild it all. Hey, look, everybody just passes right through. Like, oh. I feel like this is like a... This is like a, like, fallout or something. Look, at this is like the... <laughs> you just come through and there's just fucking dead bodies and shit everywhere. Oh, what kind of mask does this guy have? Oh, he's a skeleton. Look, all the skeletons and all the shit is all over the place. There's no plumbing for the toilets and stuff. Get the mod more faction interaction. Rim Atomics. Genetic Rim will get let you create the perfect Terry. Yeah, I want to be able to add bionics and stuff to... Uh, I want to make bion bionic... I want to make Mecha Terry. Oh. Okay. Another raid has turned up. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, these guys might hit some of my landmines. Get a dog said. That mod adds animal bionics. A dog said. Okay. Sex robots. Will I sing you a quick happy birthday song? Sure, Lamb Todd. Alexa, 
Sing happy birthday to Lamatod, please. Lamatod. There you go, Lamatod. Okay, I think I, I think for the next one I want to get I want to take out Smoke Leaf Industries. I don't want it anymore. Oh, watch out, Francis. Francis has got to be almost dead, right? He's been shredded up big time. I want to take out Smoke Leaf Industries, and I want to get um, some like prosthetic and organ mods, and I would like the animal um, one too, and then. Um, we can either try Naked Brutality, maybe like it on a mountain map, or we can try doing that pacifist run, but not on a mountain map. So we'd have to have people, everybody, every colonist that we have is incapable of fighting. Okay. We can't take anybody who, who is able to fight. So Naked Brutality. Medieval. I don't want to do medieval. It won't work. Why won't it work? It's impossible. Well, I mean, we can make it. We can make the the starting three people. How will I make food? Well, how do you mean? How am I gonna make food? We're just gonna farm. Oh, because they won't do hunting, so they'll have to do farming. So they would just have to do farming. How will we stop raids? Well, we won't. We're just going to hide in a... We're going to make... The first thing we do is we're going to make a bunker that we hide in. <laughs> so when raids turn up, they could just steal what, whatever they're going to steal and then leave. So we'll never fight anybody. <laughs> a nuclear reactor? Wait, is Rivatomics really good then? Okay, there's some mechanoids that have arrived now to raid us. The Bekembar of the Oasis are here. Oh, shit. These mechs aren't going to quit either, are they? a bunch of filthy vandals. What are we up to now? 1.5 days. We can recreate Chernobyl. Rivatomics is really good. Okay, we'll ma we might check it out. Do you have to, do you have, is it like a whole bunch of extra processes to get like a shit ton of power? Rivatomics is made by the same guy who made the hygiene model. Do mechs ever leave or do they just systematically destroy the entire base? No, they they leave eventually. It just takes much longer for them to eventually leave. But yeah, no, they will eventually leave. <laughs> oh my god. 1.3 days, guys. But I consider continuing The Witcher 3. Still haven't sold those bear pelts. Oh, fuck. Man, I feel like if we're gonna play Witcher 3, we'll do a brand new playthrough from the start and just go through it painstakingly like we did uh, Skyrim. But man, it would take like an entire month or longer to do it. Do it, oh my god. I don't know if I can do it. Skyrim. Skyrim was only possible because that mod was so amazing, but with the house The house and the collections and stuff is amazing. I don't, there's nothing like that in The Witcher 3, is there? Sounds ten times better than another Rimworld oh, man. Well, We gotta try it. We have to win a game as the rich explorer and uh, We have to do naked brutality still as well though know a game to play. <laughs> Morris 88, yeah, I bet you do. So the plan is make a big ass bunker, turrets and traps everywhere and sell all the captured people with shooting to get money to survive. Pretty much, yeah. But So we're just gonna have a whole bunch of people who are incapable of fighting, running the colony. Uh oh. Hey, these guys might, oh yeah, look, they're fighting the, uh, the scythers. What are they doing? What are these guys doing? Uh, 
Oh, they're trying to set fires on top of fire foam. I see. <laughs> well, that pretty much sums up this game, doesn't it? Pretty much sums it up. So all those times where you're really angry as to why your guy isn't hauling the stuff that you specified, always remember the time that an entire raid was trying to set fire to fire foam. Always remember. They're beating my wheat. Look at Luca's. He's gonna die out here, I think. Look, his right pinky has been cut off. His right hand, his right arm, been cut up too. He's in a bad way. Old Luca's freshest, freshest body to arrive here. I can't believe all the camels and all the tortoises have survived as well. It's incredible. But five hours before we can launch Terry into space. Five hours. Which raid is this? It's just more pirates. Pirates from the Ravagers of Blood. Unrestrict the animals. No, they're safe. I'm gonna keep them in there. Oh shit. Okay, the reactor is ready. I think that's another win, guys. I think that's another win. <laughs> Terry, Terry made it. We launched Terry into space, he survived. He survived the whole time. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it was worth coming back just to see, just see, the, just see, just see Terry get, get out of here, right? The rest of the colony didn't fare so well, but we had the foresight to put Terry on ice. And look, we've got animals living in the ruins of our previous colony as well. I love that there's still landmines <laughs> scattered about. Oh, it's so good. Uh oh. Might be trying to tunnel into where the animals are. Oh no, they're leaving. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Let me get some mods here. Let me get some mods for this game. Rim Atomics. A hundred percent. Well, that no, that was not a, a win though. It was fun to do. Rim. Rim. A, Rim atomics. Rim atomics. Nuclear power, energy weapons, and nuclear weapons. Oh, this looks really cool, actually. Rim atomics adds nuclear power and energy weapons, and a custom research system guides you step by step through most of the features, with a few details being left for you to figure out. The nuclear power system scales from kilowatts to megawatts with options for combinations of different types of cooling systems, turbines, and reactor cores, plus upgrades. To make use of such massive amounts of power, an assortment of energy weapons has been added, microwave area denial systems, Tesla coils, high energy lasers, rail guns, anti-mortar systems, threat detection, drop pod scramblers, many types of upgrade modules, and nuclear weapons. Oh, wow, that sounds great. Okay, let's go with that then. Um, what the fuck? I guess I'm not. I'm on. I'm using the Steam app logged in and it's asking me to sign in. It's weird, right? Have I tried Kenshi? Yeah, I, I've played it. Yeah. Oh, I think I, I don't think I can get this. There's, I think there's something wrong with the Steam servers. Work tab mod to fix the priority system. The work tab mod. I don't think I can get this. I think Steam's like fucked up. 
Pawns are capable is essential. What's that? And the allow tool. Steam is running super slow for you. I can't log into Steam right now. Well, I mean, I can, I'm logged into it, but it's not like... It can't verify my login information. Steam servers have been absolute shit the last two days. It's weird, isn't it? So I can't download a mod. I can't subscribe to a mod. Can you do it from in the game? Manual download. What the hell? No way. I'm not manually downloading. Mods. Open the Steam Workshop. Maybe I can, like, go around it through here, through the in-game thing. Try doing it from my browser. How do I go to the, um, workshop? I wouldn't download a rim. No, I would not. Um, don't look at my password, okay? I'm trying to log in on the website now and it's not, not working either. Have I played any of the Halo games? I think I played one of them. I can't remember much though. I remember not liking it because of um, using a controller to shoot stuff. I hated that. <coughs> okay, replace stuff, more trade ships, no force slow, slow down, simple sidearms, defensive positions, the fridge was good, color coded mood bar, stack, XXL. Oh, I am signed in now. Oh, maybe this will work then. So what was this called? Um, Rim Atomics. Rim Atomics. Here it is. I'm told that it works with saves. Oh no, I... It's still not working. Will I play them if they come to PC? I don't know. I'm not that interested in Halo. I mean, maybe. We'll we'll see. It just depends on how I feel, I guess. Not like I'm not like mad into Halo or anything. I don't really know much about it. You miss Jeffland. Check out the Rimmy Timmy's Fun Pack. What the hell? Game's still set to Prison Architect. No, I changed it. I'm sure I changed it. Oh, I didn't save it though, I don't think. It's set to uh, RimWorld now. Yeah, I can't do this. So while Steam is down then, let's, um, let's get rid of Smoke Leaf Industry. Wall light, prepare carefully, pick up and haul while you're up, stack XXL. Everything else is fine. So we're going to get rid of the smoke leaf industry stuff. And uh, because we can't get these other mods, I guess we'll just try like uh, naked brutality or something. The menu is by far the most fun thing I've played today. Uh, I know what you mean, Jeff. Oh, the allowed I can't get any mods, guys. The Steam is like, oh fuck, Jeff. Why is Steam so fucked? I can't download any mods or or sign in or anything. Please let me know. <laughs> Please let me know. No. Why isn't Jeff a VIP? Good question. It's working now. It was not though. I just tried it a second ago. Rim Atomic. Okay, I'll try one more time. Rim, 
Rim Atomics. I'll try it one more time. If it doesn't work, we'll just try Naked Brutality or something. Rim Atomics. Oh, this nuclear power looks awesome, though. No, it's still saying I need to sign in or create an account to do that. To rebuild the Supermax prison in RimWorld. I don't know if we can, actually. Manually download and install the mods. Man, I am not manually downloading and installing mods. It's 2019. I just flat out refuse. I'd rather kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Restart Steam. Alright, I'll restart Steam and see if it works. Let me just restart Steam quick. And if it, if that doesn't work then we're then we're definitely just gonna move on with our lives, right? Celery man while we wait. Good morning, Paul. What will your first sequence of the day be? Computer load up, Celery Man, please. Yes, Paul. <laughs> Could you it kick worked. up the uh, 43D, 3D3? 3D3 3D3 3 engaged. All right. Now, listen, guys. Rim Atomics, I've subscribed to. What else do we want? What was that? What was that prosthetics one called again? What was it? What's the good prosthetics one? Expanded. Expanded. Pros. Prosthetics. Grenades expanded. Expanded roofing. Doors expanded. War crimes expanded. Oh yeah, we wanted to try it. Maybe we'll try that one next time. I think Rim Atomics is going to keep us busy enough, right? Expanded incidents. What is it called again? Expanded prosthetics. Expanded prosthetics. Architects. Oh, here it is. Expanded prosthetics and organ engineering. Okay, hang on a second. Let me see what this says. Multilingual. There is support for English, German, French, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. Overview. This mod gives you the ability to craft your own prostheses and artificial organs. Starting with basic prostheses like a peg leg or a hook hand. You can research everything you could think about. Simple prostheses like the vanilla ones and some new bionic body parts and even advanced bionics. But to get advanced bionics, you have to do plenty of research. And they're also pretty expensive to craft. You tend to losing your organs. This mod helps too. You can research and craft surrogate and synthetic organs. So you never have to miss your kidney again. The mod is pretty big. There's enough work to do. So even in the end game, there's something new to research, craft and to buy available. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right, so expanded prosthetics and organ engineering we've got, and rim atomics, right? I think that's enough. I think that's enough for us for this next playthrough, right? The work tab mod and the allow tool. <sighs> what does the allow tool do, though? Like, nobody's been able to explain to me what it actually does. It's just a library. Like, what does it do? What does the allow tool do? It adds hull urgently. Because it fucking does so much. Oh, God, guys. Okay, fine. I'll grab the allow tool as well since everybody's constantly going on about it. There's probably like kids out there named allow tool. It's so popular. Allow tool. Allow tool. A set of tools to make your life on the rim a bit easier. 
easily forbid and unforbid items, select similar things, have things hauled urgently, and affect the entire map with powerful new tool extensions. All right, I have subscribed to allow tool, all right? So can we start this now or what? Allow tool is better than some, what? Ris Riska? A dog set as well. Oh yeah, for, uh, well, well, let's leave that one out for now. Because I'm too lazy to go back in and get it. All right, so Rim Atomics, yeah. Expanded Prosthetics and Organ Engineering, yeah. And the Allow Tool, yeah. Hugs Lib. It needs Hugs Lib, right? Okay, so we've disabled Smoke Leaf Industry for this one. We don't need it. But, uh, <laughs> get the Disallow Tool as well. No, sorry, I only want the Allow Tool. I don't want the Disallow one. Okay. Good. Add sequence. Oyster. Uh, give me a printout of Oyster smiling. Okay. Computer? Yes. Do we have any uh, new sequences? I have a beta sequence I've been working on. Would you like to see it? Remove the air commodities. It's bad. What the hell? Poor Erica. Okay. So what is this? So what are we doing for this one? New colony. Crash landed lost tribe. Rich explorer. So Rich Explorer, we just finished a Rich Explorer. Our Rich Explorer died, which kind of made it so that the the Rich Explorer playthrough was already a failure. Uh, but then we lost the whole colony as well. And uh, but Terry made it off. <laughs> Terry, we launched Terry off alone. He survived the raids by himself, just stuck in the ship. Remove the Dan VR mod. Naked Brutality Scenario Editor, though. Why? When I left this... You should check out the Rim of Madness mod sometime. I'm looking forward to this Rim Atomics, actually. I'm looking forward to this. So we can either do another Rich Explorer, um, and this time try to make it so that our Rich Explorer survives, or we can try Naked Brutality, which is going to be tough. Get facial stuff, it adds beards. Okay, I don't need that. Sunlights for hydroponics. That can be another one later as well, right? Naked brutality. Okay, you went under anesthetic for a minor surgery. Now you've awoken in a drop pod crashing into a distant planet. You're naked alone and totally unprepared. Can you survive? Warning, there's nothing fair about this scenario. It is extremely difficult and death can happen for any reason. Your faction will be a new arrival. Start with one people chosen from eight. Players starting characters start naked. All right, fine. We're going to go for Rough, um, Cassandra Classic, Commitment Mode, perfect. And the seed is going to be called... Penny Whacker. Globe coverage 30%. Okay, let's generate. See what we get. Go all out extra rough. Penny whacker. Do I like it rough? Not really, no. I'll last 20 minutes tops. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. What size this map. Okay, let's try to go somewhere where there are no pirates whatsoever. This is looking promising down here. Okay. Lake Prime Walrus. <laughs> All right. We're going to we're going to set up camp in a uh, temp uh, mountainous temperate forest or do we want a large hills tropical rainforest? Large hills tropical rainforest? Right on the tip here. There's pirates up there. But what about our own island? Could be kind of cool too, right? Tropical we're doing a naked brutality tropical tropical swamp or just tropical rainforest large hills what's all this temperate swamp temperate forest boreal forest we've done that as well does this give us growing all year all year round in a tropical rainforest it must do right No, apparently there's 10 days where we can't grow. 
but the temperature is only going to go down to about five five degrees. This one goes down to seven. So this is just a tropical rainforest. Okay, tropical rainforest with large hills. Sure. We'll try it out. All right, we can choose from these eight. We don't want to re-roll too many times, right? Okay. This person has a uh, carcinoma in her left lung, but it's uh, minor and in remission. Uh, she's good at, at medicine. She's good... She's got a passion for just about everything. What about Karen, the low-wage worker? Good shooting, good melee, good cooking, social, a little bit of medical. Shooting plants and artistic. Great melee, nothing else. I think we, I think we want somebody who can do medical though, right? Mondo the bodyguard has a bad back. But is good at shooting melee. Has a passion for construction and mining and animals and crafting as well. Too medical. Are we doing the passive run? No, I don't think so. I don't think we are. Um, who do we want here then? We have to make ourselves. Danielle the bartender. Some asthma. Melee construction and medical. Incapable of firefighting and is a pyromaniac. Alright, Bonnie here is a nudist. Bonnie enjoys the feelings of freedom that comes from being nude. She can handle clothing, but will be happier without it. No reroll. I don't even need to reroll. I found the perfect person to get us started here. She's. Yeah, I know. It's perfect, right? It's naked brutality. She's got good medical um, skills. Bonnie, the wreckage explorer. She can she can learn how to construct better and mine better as well. She's got a burning passion for those things. She can do some intellectual stuff. She's incapable of nothing. She's a quick sleeper. And she has no cooking and plants. Yeah, she she might not have any cooking or plants, but. Who cares? She can go hunting and um, and eat raw meat and stuff. It's fine. We'll be fine. Raw meat is fine. Cooks for shit. I know, but it's happily nude. No planting. She needs some implants. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She does. She could do with a couple of implants. She looks like an ironing board right now. Goes hunting. Animal revenge. Game over. Yeah, no, but what if it's like a squirrel, though? It's not going to be game over then, is it? So, for Naked Brutality, we definitely need somebody who is able to do some uh, planting, I guess, right? But also a nudist. What about Cherry the Paramedic has some planting and cooking skills here? She's 46 years old. She's got carcinoma in her left lung, but it's in remission. So it's probably she's a survived an apocalypse as a child, which is pretty nuts as well. She's incapable of nothing. She's transhumanist, so she wants to have artificial body parts. That works perfect. We have a mod for tons of body parts. Uh, but she's sensitive to psych stuff. Who else have we not looked at yet? Rismondo? Oh my god, Rismondo. He's got chemical damage to his left kidney. That's a big no for me. What about Phoebe? Phoebe is incapable of carrying social plant work and mining. Nah, fuck it. We're going with Bonnie. We're going to go with Bonnie and try it out, okay? Bonnie Banks. All right, who wants to be Bonnie Banks? One of you guys can have it. Who's going to be our hero this time? It's got to be somebody good, all right? All right. None, where, where are all the good people? Where's, like, all the Penny Peter Whackers and stuff? Bob. Where's Bob? Is he even here? What the hell? Bob's not even here. Where's all the VIPs at? Got no VIPs today? Get me in. <laughs> Pridey is here. Alright, Pridey. Sure. Pridey, you're in. Okay. Pridey, 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 Pridey Banks. There. Pridey, Pridey Banks. Okay, good. All right, we're starting. Naked Brutality, uh, Cassandra Ruff. 
with no cooking <laughs> with no cooking or planting skills whatsoever yeah okay let's see oh allow tool look at this what are all these hull urgently harvest all plants finish off allows to quickly and humanely clean up downed animals and raid survivors nice Drafted hunt is a tool for manually hunting. Oh my god, there's so many things. It was supposed to be a minor surgery, just an hour under anesthetic. You felt totally safe. Now you've awoken inside a drop pod, punching through the atmosphere of a distant rim world. Aside from a slick of mysterious goo all over your body, you're totally naked with no preparation, no supplies, and no tools. Can you survive? Oh, I'm excited. Can you imagine? We start... Oh, the ocean. Look. Can you imagine that we get this built up to a point where we have uh, our own Chernobyl by the ocean? Guys, wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be nuts, though? The ocean. It's a perfect map for a bad run. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to go well, but we'll still try our best anyway, right? See, see, see how we do. Okay, where did we actually land, though? We landed in here. Okay. Manual priorities. Hall plus. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's better. Look, so we can actually say haul urgently that's really good okay basic yes uh warden we don't need you handling we really don't need okay cooking <laughs> okay hunting um uh... oh my lord we just basically want to doing everything right we wanted to do like just a bit of everything we definitely don't want smithing, tailoring, art, or crafting, though. Or researching. So we can turn all that off for now. So we start with... Oh my god. We really did start with nothing, right? So we have to cut down a couple of trees? That's gonna take us forever. Alright, well. We have to... We have to get good somehow, right? Gotta get good at these tasks somehow. <laughs> Come on over, Pridey. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever. Ah, oh, it's alright. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. It could be worse, guys. It could be worse. There's a whole bunch of alpacas here. That's a good sign, right? Oh, look! It's Terry already! He followed us! Okay, she's pretty good at constructing. She's pretty fast. It's pretty nice. Okay, so let's get a dumping stockpile zone here. Just gonna want to get rid of all this stuff. Okay, what's the temperature? 17 degrees? That's not too bad. Okay, so furniture. Growing zone. Well, she's going to get better at planting and growing at this rate anyway. She's going to do all these jobs by herself, right? Please go on a trek to the AI ship and don't build my own again. So we'd have to go on a trek to the AI ship, get there, and then defend it after we power it up. Go find some berries. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. We might need to murder some... 
We might need to murder some uh, monkeys and stuff too, right? Okay, Pridey, there's no sleeping for you tonight. We're gonna get some. Um, we're gonna get some rice growing here. You're gonna be a okay, Pridey. Growing, plant cutting. Where's Pridey now? Gone to bed. You're gonna have to get some berries before you starve to death. We're a hunter lacking a ranged weapon as well. So naked brutality counts as a tribal start, right? Hungry already? Yeah, we are. We're already hungry. Oh, she's having a wash. Nice. I think we can eat some berries though. Oh, she botched the harvest. Oh, she botched the harvest again. There we go. No problem, we just ate. We just ate for the first time. Okay, production, crafting spot. Got a bad temperature in here. Furniture, let's get a torch lamp. Heat it up in here a little bit. There we go, look. There we go, it's all coming together now, look. Got a little bit of food stockpiled-ish. Some trained monkeys. We're gonna get this rice crop growing. Did I do animal biotics? No, I did not, no. No, I didn't get it. I got rim atomics and um, expanded prosthetics and organ things and something else. Allow to, I got the allow tool as well. Terry's the only important one. Yeah, we launched Terry, but the rest of the uh, colony got, got killed, kind of sucked. There you go. Okay, so Pridey is just going to have to eat raw berries for the foreseeable future. Potentially raw rice as well until s stuff starts happening. I don't know if anything will ever happen. We'll have to see. I mean, we could maybe get some meat. We could potentially get some meat. So hunt some meat, but I don't have anywhere to, to freeze the meat. She's going to shovel raw rice into her mouth. Select similar on the berries. There's got to be more out here, right? Oh my god. It's a lot of berries. Hello? Fuck, that's so annoying, isn't it? How the fuck do you release hardware in this day and age that is capable of doing that to an entire computer? Like, it's so fucking stupid. So this stuff has all been harvested. The raw rice is too much. Yeah. Maybe it was actually. All right, Pridey. Wake up, sleepy bones. We have to craft a um, a short bow. We don't have the crafting skills to do this. We need at least crafting level two. So we might have to just craft like a throwing stick or something maybe like a pillow or make a bed yeah we will don't worry don't worry we have to get some food first 
We don't have enough wood for a bed. I don't have enough cloth for a bed roll. I don't have enough shit for shit. There are some berries here, though. Some travelers are passing by, too. As long as we stay fed, we should be fine, right? A bedless run. Plug my audio interface into a USB 2 port if I have one. Yeah, it is plugged into a USB 2 port. Um, and it's still, uh, it's still doing this. It's really annoying. There's a mad hair coming in. You think? You think we're gonna get a mad hair? If we get a mad anything, we're just hiding in the base. We'll test out our, um, our pacifist run. Okay, let's get some more wood so we can make a bed. Try to keep Pridey as happy as possible. The first thing that happens is, uh, is a hair. Need a meal source. We're low on food, we're low on medicine, we need defenses, and we lack a ranged weapon. What else can we make? Tribal wear, a club, a knife? Steel plus steel. We can make a knife out of steel. I think we can mine. Yeah, we can mine a bit. She's praying. Pridey's pr I don't blame her. I'd be praying at this point as well. Jeez. Praying to new Tain, yeah. Good luck on your new run with this one villager. Hope you thrive. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We ha we have a visitor here. A visitor who is not taking advantage. Nice. It's good. Okay, let's see what our needs are at. We need some food when we wake up. Where will we source this food? Ah, uh, there's some food out here that we can go and collect. So we can haul urgently. So we put her on number one for hauling urgently, and then when we say to haul stuff urgently, she'll go and haul it. That's pretty cool. That is really cool, actually. So I could say, like, haul this urgently. You're gonna need an outhouse. She's gonna get sad when she shits herself. Yeah, good point, actually. We need a little bit more wood for that. Um, so crafting. She'll need to do a bit of mining, growing. She's meditating now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this broad. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're gonna have to hunt some animals. We're gonna have to cook up some... Ah. Uh-oh. It's a mad tortoise. Oh, shit. It'll be a couple of years before it reaches the base to attack us, but it's coming. We have nothing. Quick, Pridey, run! It's almost here. Just wait it out. Just wait, wait it, wait it out. Only got four wood left. 
Maybe something else will attack this tortoise. Maybe it'll attack some of these monkeys. It's got to go to sleep at some point. Okay. dead we're so dead look at this 10 quality we're in a lot of shit here oh my god we don't have any medicine we're probably starving now too Go ahead, eat some raw terry meat. Oh, 25% 10 quality on that one. Incredible. Okay, let's get it butchered up quick. get a campfire made very quickly too you feel like this is a new low for me <laughs> not not the greatest is it okay great, Dad. so temperature campfire we don't have enough wood for oh actually yeah consume these berries we got to get a campfire up You're and going Thanks so much, uh, Dodger Joe 84 for the 30 bucks. Last night in my own playthrough, first my colonist ex-lover, then his wife came to the colony. They keep fighting constantly. It was like that old soap operas. This game is awesome at times like this. Yeah, it is at times like that. Yeah. And uh, Officer Cop, thanks so much for the bits as well, man. Good to see you. Where's party going now? What the hell? Pridey don't. We need you to make a campfire so they can... Oh, Party's going to have a wash. Party's not feeling too good. He's resting. Gotta haul this stuff urgently. We got 38 wood available to us now. Friday's making a simple meal that she can have tomorrow. She's a little bit hungry still. Okay, let's not let this thing spoil. And we'll let her rest a little bit too. A fire indoors, I know it's a huge no-no, but we have to do it. We have got to do it. Turtle soup. We have a couple of uh, lizard skins here too, but... Tribal wear is not going to really help us because we 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 like to be nude. We need 60 ingredients as well. So that's a lot of we have to kill a lot of tortoises if we want to make anything. All right, we got bad hygiene. 
But otherwise, we're not doing too bad. We could set up our latrine. We'll have an indoor shitter just in case we get locked in here. <laughs> Look at this little face. Oh my god. We're surviving, guys. Slowly. It's happening. Uh, we'll get somebody soon to help us out. We'll be fine. 28 degrees indoors already. Well, we're not going to die of, uh, of the cold, at least. Just pile up that shit in the corner. What shit are we talking about here? God damn. That, that tortoise really did a number on us. Really, really quite the number. We'll die on the first raid. The Red Thicket Confederation have arrived and they're attacking immediately. It's a man with a knife. <laughs> okay, Friday. <laughs> no! Don't steal my meal! Oh, don't you dare! No, my rice! I need that! Not my campfire! Not my bed! Oh, you monster! Oh, Lord. Friday, run! Oh, Christ, he's coming after you! <laughs> Oh. oh no, he runs so fast! <laughs> you can't! They never give up! It's like the T-1000 chase! No! Pridey's weakened from the tortoise attack! Oh god! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck this game is garbage. Who fucking plays this game even? What the fuck? So he burns down all of my shit, kicks out my campfire, and chases me around a mountain until the end of time. I killed his pet tortoise. Wait until a random wanderer joins. Everyone is dead or gone. Alright. Fuck me. Naked brutality is tough, eh? Holy shit. Naked brutality. Rough commitment. Well, we shouldn't have fought the tortoise. Okay, Cassandra rough commitment mode. This seed this time is going to be... Tortoise death. Okay, and let's go for 50% globe coverage again. That was good. Start with battery and turret. What? What the fuck? Why would you? Let's see if Erica can do any better. Hey, Viper7, thanks so much for the donation, man. Piss. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. We have to find a place where... So we got... Tribals raided us. So sea ice. These guys, the bomb desert. Harvey's outlaws have a base on the sea ice. Ocean. Desert. Tundra. Sea ice. Sea ice. Where is it? There's another type of no sea ice. Sea ice naked brutality is just impossible. Where's the there where's the um there's normally like just like an Arctic biome that's not sea ice though, right? Is that like this? Tundra? Ice sheet. Sea ice and ice sheet. Where's so where's the ice sheet? Start in the ocean. <laughs> sea ice too. Tundra. Where's the ice sheet? 
ocean ice sheet. I don't want to be too close to raiders, to pirates, Harvey's outlaws. So tropical rainforest, mountainous. This is all mountainous here as well. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try tropical rainforest mountainous. Um, animals, crafting. Okay, let's not make the same mistakes we did last time. Animals, no. Mining and cooking, but no plants. Animals and crafting, cooking, some plants, good mining. Plants and no cooking. Plants and cooking and a bit of mining and some passion for shooting and animals and intellectual of nothing. Very neurotic. Constantly nervous about everything that has to get done. She will work extremely hard to attain this state of affairs, but her nerves could easily get the better of her. So her work speed is plus 40%, but her mental break threshold is plus 14%. She has no need to experience the outdoors or light. She will never feel cooped up or get cabin fever. Well, this is good for people who are potentially going to live in a mountain, right? Nude sips. Yeah, we are. Starship janitor with mining and cooking, but no planting. And Hippo here has uh, carcinoma on his right clavicle. It's growing. Uh, it's 58 years old. 16 artistic <laughs> plants. No cooking, though. Okay, so this VR. So I think this is our person here. May Liu. Okay, who wants this person? You're an undergrounder. Dumb labor. Oh. Uh, free bird. Okay. Free bird. The illuminator. Okay, let's try this one then. Maybe this will be better. I mean, please. It's too late. We put in free bird. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, boys. Look at this area over here. It's real nice. We just build some stuff in here and then have a big kill box here. They could still get the jump on us. We'd have to build, like, into the mountain, but at least it's, like, a little bit easier to defend that sort of area, isn't it? Is there any, like, houses or anything to start off with? Oh, there's a nice one up here, actually. Huh? I didn't pick the right person. <laughs> I did not pick the right person. Who is this person? Oh, that's so annoying. Shooting. Okay, no plants or cooking. <laughs> or mining. Oh no! Animals crafting, intellectual and social. Oh no. Alright, well. Well, fuck it. We gotta make it work somehow, right? Ay, ay, ay. That's gonna be rough. No doctor skills either. Oh. But wardening. And handling skills. Oh my god. This is gonna be brutal. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely brutal. Okay. First things first, we need a door. Come on, you, you Jabron. Name the useless guy Sips. Alright, fine. That's what you guys think of me? Fine. I'll name him after myself. Put the t 
temperature, 19 degrees. It's not bad. He botched the construction straight away. Well, he's got somewhere to sleep at least. Let's give him a little torch lamp here too. There. Yeah, we're fine here. This is gonna be good. I think this will be fine, guys. Let's get some rice planted. <laughs> gonna have to go find some berries like straight away get some rice planted up should be fine traps are superior on this I bet you can't make a door IRL so this checks out no I, I wouldn't be able to make a door IRL you're right about that Rip rough man you gotta see me trying to do things IRL it's hilarious I can't do anything. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I I even made children. It's insane. Make a zoo in preparation for Planet Zoo. Do I know how to plant rice, IRL? Now that is something I know how to do. Yes. That's uh, something I'm really good at. What playthrough are we up to? This is our fifth. The fourth was a very short one. It lasted like 10 minutes. Why plant when I can hunt? I don't have anything to hunt with. I don't have a gun or a bow or anything. I think I have some crafting skills though, but I need to cut down some more stuff. Do I have enough for a bed? No. So what do we actually need for a bow? For a short bow? 30 wood. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. We are starving now, though. couple of botched harvests. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> Alright, he's fine. He's good. He's eaten. My mom is big. What the hell? A man hunting rhino will end me. Nah, I'm just gonna hide inside if that happens. I'll get a turret. I'll make a turret. That's never gonna happen. The turret, I mean. Look, there's a couple of tor tortoises here. There we go, look. He's working on his, on his bow. He's making a bow and arrow. Just having a little snack. Incredible. Just having a little wash. Very good. Okay, it's a poor bow, but it's still a bow. <laughs> sure. Sure. It's kind of fun starting like this, actually. It's tough, yeah, but it's pretty cool. Okay. Let's get a toilet built now, too. It's the smallest house ever here. Oh, no problem. It's great. Hygiene. Let's get a fucking a fucking wooden latrine here, boys. Put it like right next to. Actually, this thing could just go outside, right? Doesn't really matter. And then we'll make a bed. Let's cut down some big trees. Colony values increase your toast. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I think I know what we can do, actually. I think I know what we can do to stay alive. We just need lots of wood for it. We have to not constantly get diarrhea and starve. We're starving again. All right, go get some berries, you dummy. Nice. Great. As many berries as we can get. come out here and just harvest up all of the berries. These last for 14 days. Let's so make sure that we're hauling all this stuff back too so that other animals don't eat it. Got 26 berries in storage now. It's pretty good. Okay, we got some visitors. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm making a wall. <laughs> Well, I'm going. I'm gonna do it, guys. As soon as we picked up this, uh, these fucking berries, we're gonna start working on a, a wall. We're gonna get the tortoises to pay for it as well. It's gonna be nuts. Made me make a few wood traps. Yeah, we are. That's just, this is how we're gonna survive. This guy's got a couple of th things he wants to trade. We have no money. Turns out, no wood either. Okay, but we should have enough berries to last us now. Get some of this construction done. Nadine and Greg are... <laughs> they're here visiting us. Nadine and Greg. Oh, they left me a gift. A wooden club. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, let's haul this before it goes bad. Wait, can we have that as a sidearm? Oh my god. That's great. What's he doing? He's meditating. So now we have a sidearm. A wooden club sidearm. What a nice gift. Incredible... Incredible gift. Oh my god. It's happening. We're making a wall. We're gonna make a wall to be proud of. Chop down these big trees. If you promise to build a wall, you have to build the wall. Hey, yeah, you're right. Look, we're building, not only are we building, we're building a wall on a bridge. We're going to make the pirates pay for it. That's right. There's a mad tortoise. A mad tortoise approaches. Oh, fuck. It's happening. It's happening like it did, like last time. It's unfolding the exact same way. It's like, it's like some sort of nightmare. Why is Terry so mad at I don't know. I think Cassandra's just prodding. Just prodding at us. You're doing great, Dad! Oh my god, he didn't get a single hit. No, no. Don't invite him in. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? No! 
Oh lord. It's happened again. <laughs> We've been bitten a lot. Prior prioritize tending to Captain Sips. <laughs> oh my god. How, how did he miss all those shots? He's got eight shooting. He's meant to be an employable professional. What the hell? Why does this game suck so bad? Oh my god. Ugh. The time it takes for him to tend to himself is embarrassing. How long? Three degrees in there. You bet I love tending to myself. Yeah, I do actually. It's my favorite pastime. It's constantly tending to myself. All right. Well, we've been bitten all over the place, and it's not looking so good for our hero here. It's quite a bit of blood in here too. Let's get it cleaned up before we go to bed. Because we're already about to have a, a breakdown. Some unhappy nudity. I think that tortoise... Oh no, we started off nude, didn't we? Completely nude. A nude taint. So what do we need to make a uh, tribal wear? 60 ingredients. Okay. We'll get one queued up if we manage to get enough stuff. How about some Stellaris with an Empire of Terries that keep humans as pets? Tempting. <laughs> Tempting. I mean, we could always look into it. Take a look and see. Take, take one look and see. Make a G-string out of Terry. I know, it feels bad that we got attacked again by a tortoise. Ah, Psychic Soothe. Okay, that's nice. Just what we needed, in fact. Alright. You're gonna have to get to work here, though. You can't just be... You gotta you gotta get some, some work done today. I know you're not well, but still. I'm gonna run out of food. This wall isn't gonna build itself. You need to stay safe. How's the new PC? I heard you had some issues yesterday. Yeah, Jacob, I, I have an issue with my audio um, interface. Uh, every once in a while, the audio, the the PC like seizes up a bit and then I lose audio and I have to like reset settings to get it back on. It's really annoying, but I got a new card coming at the end of the week, so. Help me, Jacob. Make a pair of wooden clogs and perhaps a pair of wooden jeans. <laughs> Okay, nice. Recreation so that I don't go crazy. Oh, that's a good idea, actually, yeah. Get a horseshoe pin. Put the back here. Okay, we'll cut down this tree and then we'll do it. There, he's feeling better already. Look, he's taking his shit and stuff. He's feeling fine. Okay, we got 197 wood now. I mean, if you're gonna sleep, at least sleep on a on a better bed, a nicer bed, right? You dummy. 
There, that's better. Harvest more berries, make campfire to cook them into meals. Yeah, I will, don't worry. I don't think there's that many berries left out here. My mistake, there's tons. Okay, what does this guy have? He's got a poor steel knife. Okay. I can do this. I'm ready. Wait, Potter's preparing as well. Oh, come on! Faster! Faster! Yeah! Yeah, eat that raw meat, bitch! Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go! Okay, let's just hope for the best here. Let's just hope that this thing fucking aces him in one shot. That would be nice, right? Okay, as soon as he's injured, blammo, we, 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 we bust out. Oh, watch out. Oh, yeah, attack him, quick. Yeah, nice. Fucking got him. What do we do? Do we capture him? <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put him, boys. Where would I put him? Can lit my shitter on fire. Okay, have I taken my left leg has been cut, but I'm in no immediate danger. Okay, Potter. We might be able to get this guy to help us out. Look, we can do some wardening. We're a really good warden, it turns out. There's a select similar tool on items and buildings now. Okay, so here, look. <laughs> Okay, we'll set up our sleeping spot there. We're gonna have to move all of this stuff out of here. Is this guy gonna be in... Oh, he's fine. Look, we can we can probably get him. We have no food to give him, though. This is the only thing. Take his pants. Yeah. There we go. Now we're fucking... Now we're talking. Okay, let me get back to tending this guy. Yeah, we got some got some clothes and shit. He's bleeding a little bit. He's no longer incapable of walking, so that's good. Might die of a disease, but it's fine. Okay, our left leg is starting to bleed quite a bit now. Okay. Attend to yourself, Captain Sips. Nice, perfect. All right, have a little rest and let's finish off this wall. <laughs> Wait, we gotta go and fucking got <laughs> cut some plants. We need some food. Our prisoner friend needs some food too. Why does it look like we're wearing, like, a dressing gown? There we go. We've got a little bit of food now. Okay, let's clean up this blood. It's just like playing The Sims now. Look, our first... We survived our first raid. Not only that, but holy crap, we got some... We potentially have somebody here, too. Incredible. Found lots of people complaining about the same audio issue when you using USB 3 ports. Are you using USB 2? No, I'm using a USB 2 for sure. 
but yeah, there's a lot of people uh, with this with similar issues. In the end, from what I've seen, people have just said I just had to buy something different. It's like a focus right thing. Food is coming in too. No, oh, we all of our food is lost. But wait. If only we could get this rhino. Okay, let's cut these bushes and get these berries. So we've got a bit of starvation. As long as our main dude stays alive, it's fine, right? Naked brutality. All right, let's finish working on this wall. Oh my god. We don't want that there. Check your donation, Jacob. Oh shit, thanks, man. Thanks for the donation, Jake. If you have a focus right Scarlet, I might have to fix for your audio issues. I had a very stable version of the driver saved on my PC. It fixed all the issues I had. The latest version from Focus Rights website is garbage for Windows 8 and 10. All right, I'll grab those off you, uh, Jacob, and see if that helps. It could be good. Yeah, the latest drivers seem to be pretty bad. You're right. Okay, thanks, man. Uh, Crimson555, thanks for the donation as well. Hey, Christopher, did you manage to escape with Terry the last run? Um, the, the whole base went to shit, but we did launch the ship with just Terry on it in the end. Uh, the raiders managed to ignore it the whole time, so... Take the knife away. That's fine. There, we're fully healed now. We're gonna get this guy recruited before we have to take the knife away. His mood is low, but... Work is resumed on the wall. This is the main thing. There's a little bit of starvation happening here, too. Only a tiny bit, though. We should have some rice pretty soon. Yeah. There, we can feed Potter here as well. We've got another mouth to feed. Is this guy any good at anything? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. This guy's the worst. This guy is the worst. He's a pyromaniac knight. <laughs> Jesus! What are we doing with this guy? Oh my lord. He can't do shit. He's useless. Never feed him again. Alright, get out of here, you fucking turkey. Oh my lord. That is not the guy for us. Eat him. Oh fucking way. I'm not eating that guy. It's crazy. I don't want to go nuts. Okay, we gotta chop down more trees and finish up this wall. We stole his clothes at least. At least we got his clothes, right? Now we don't have to make tribal wear. Could have used him as rhino bait. I guess so, yeah. There's that too, yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Rice! Oh, delicious rice! Just in time too, guys! We can set up a cooking house. Okay, it's gonna be a bit of raw rice, but... I fixed the shitter. I prevented the shitter from burning down. Look at all this rice! Holy... Pajibus! Okay, great. God, that's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna make a campfire. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm just trying to survive here. Hey, Freebird. See you later, man. Sorry you didn't get into this one. I, uh, I thought it was you, but it turned out it wasn't. 
Someone just named this useless guy after me instead. While you were here, you probably know how it goes. You just caught up with the last run. Glad my death started the downward spiral. Man, it was fine actually. You dying bouncers. Those last, those two raids fucked us right in the ass so hard. Man. The first one was especially a shitter. And then having the sappers turn up at the same time was just... We couldn't do shit. Alright, well, he's getting better at planting. He must be getting better at planting. Yeah, he's already up to three. That's pretty good. He doesn't have a passion for it, though. Which is kind of annoying, but... Well, at least we have some rice. We can make some meals. Do some hunting and stuff. Man, once we can start hunting, this is going to be great. Tropical rainforest? Holy shit. Eating raw rice. Yeah, we're going to get some more rice. It's enough for now. If, it's, if we have enough rice to allow us to work on finishing this wall, it'll help us stabilize a bit more. Get some traps and shit in there. We should be fine. Because as long as we have one guy, the raids are going to be just really, really small, right? This guy's incapable of nothing. Do you think it'd be possible to play the whole game with just one guy? So, like, anybody who joins your colony, just banish them, banish them straight away? There's a war merchant here. Oh, cargo pods, too. There's a bunch of flake here. Hi, I have a a, a, a poor knife for you. <laughs> for for one buck. Oh wow, we can't afford anything here. It's gonna give us a dollar. Incredible. It's my first piece of silver. One silver. Incredible. More cargo pods. Oh my god! Oh my god. Holy crap. Mana from heaven. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Some nice medicine. Fuck, we needed some so bad. Raise, raise strength is based on wealth, my dude. No, I don't. I, you know what though? The raids when when we lost a lot of guys were much smaller. I think it's a combination of things. Because my wealth was high and it was higher in the last base, like four hundred something, four hundred thousand. But when we were down to like almost nobody left alive, the raids were super small. We were getting raided by like three, uh, three scythers and stuff. It was like nothing. What happened to the captive? We let we let him go. <laughs> He's garbage. He was incapable of like pretty much everything. There's raiders with higher skill too. All oh, right. It just seemed weird that like it was. They felt like smaller raids. The flake. Oh, yeah, we do with having that flake actually. Sell it, right? Where'd it go? Where did that flake go? It's like down here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. Guys, where's the flake? Does anybody remember? Here? No? Top left corner. Top left, really? Oh yeah, you're right. We have no storage space for flake. Drugs. Yeah, we do.
Oh, the steel slag chunks. Yeah, no, we don't want to store those steel slag chunks. Okay, the wall is almost done. Can you believe this? And now we have 32 flakes that we can sell too. So we might be able to make more than one silver next time. <laughs> our, our worldly possessions. <laughs> one silver. But we have 20 meds. And that's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. Okay, structure. So we go like this. And then we could do like another one out. And then we want doors like that. Oh, they left a gift too. A normal short bow. Fucking kidding me? Where did they leave it? No fucking way. It's better than the poor one. Oh, that's great. Bring the rice inside. It's like 12 of it just out there. Oh, tell you what. He's pretty fast at building. Hey, Sips, how you been? I've missed you. Hey, Slavic Odessit. I've been uh, I've been pretty good. I've been away for a couple days and I'm back. We had a really bad run, uh, RimWorld run, the last playthrough. 48 hours just to get absolutely cucked by a uh, raid at the end. But we launched the ship with just Terry the Tortoise on it. That was it. <laughs> he survived. Terry... Terry survived. But not, nobody else did. Everybody else died, sadly. It was, it was sad times. Okay, we gotta chop down some of these big mamas because they drop a lot of wood. We've almost got our wall done. And then it's just a case of getting some twaps. And then we should be... We should be really, really safe with this setup for quite some time. And then we can sort of build stuff and try to survive. Does this guy have any mining abilities? Because we can start mining into this mountain here <laughs> and make this fucking gigantic base and then just have this as our full-time like kill zone. We won't need to like move out of this spot. Got lots of space here to like um, grow plants and shit too, yeah? Do I plan on going through auction not included when it drops for full release? Yeah, I might do. I just, um, I'm not... The only thing about oxygen not included that I'm unsure of is, um... I like it. I like tinkering with it. You know, like, I like building, like, um, you know, cool... But I just wish there was something a bit more like in RimWorld where ultimately there's a point, you know? Like... Just like ferrying ships back and forth in space and stuff, like it'd be cool if there was a way to just say, with some challenge, get to the end, and then the game just be like, yeah, you d you did it, you achieved like this goal or whatever, and then you just get some music and credits, and then you're like, yeah, I'm done. It t it feels too it's it's a cool game and I love it and I've played a ton of it, but it's too um, it's too tinkery. And you, and you sort of get to a point in the game where you're just like, I built all this and I wish there was like a point to it, you know, ultimately. Instead of just like tinkering the whole time. Like I wish that there was, I, maybe the full release will have some more of the story stuff, you know, like, um, it, you know, those little rooms that you find. Sometimes they have notes and stuff. Who knows? We'll see. 
big cat inbound. Well, that's fine. We've got traps and stuff set up, so if the cat does try to get us, we'll hopefully kill him. Good old me. Working hard. Working hard to make sure that big cats and other predators don't get don't get in here. Holy crap. Guys, this might be the one. This might be this this might be a naked brutality that actually turns out okay. Gotta refuel this torch lamp. There, that's better. Predators. Kill the rat. Would you say the same thing about Minecraft? Yeah, I think the um, the difference with Minecraft is that you can play it multiplayer, so it doesn't matter as much. So in Minecraft, you could build stuff with your friends and you could build a great big city or whatever, and it doesn't need to have a point, you know? It's a place to hang out with your friends and stuff, and it's fine. Oxygen Not Included does not have that aspect, so it's a bit different. Minecraft has an end? I guess it does, yeah. I, if you go and kill the uh, Ender Dragon or whatever, right? You, there's... So you could you could set that up as a goal, but incoming malaria with level zero doctoring. Oh shit, yeah, that could finish me off actually. Okay, let's hope that we don't get malaria. Where? Is... Group of tribes people from the Comboa of the Canyon. They're attacking immediately. Okay. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think we're fine here, you know. I think this guy's fucking dead. <laughs> That's great. Okay, good. Let's strip his ass. What's this? It's a marble club. It's not worth shit. Okay. We're still eating berries, but we do have a bit of rice. Now now that we're a little bit safer, we can, we can grow some better stuff, right? The murder roll is back. Yeah, fuck. We kind of need it for this, though. Holy shit. It's rough. Okay, let's chop down a bunch more trees. Oh, I see. He's going to come out here and do this. Got to make sure these traps are always rearmed, right? How the f Fuck, it's so stupid. Fucking focus right. What a bunch of fucking garbage cans. I'm back. Yeah, I know. How the, how the, is it back? Should be back now, right? Cloud Nudes has really hacked me this time. Oh, I gotta get it sorted out. Uh, let's see if those um, things from Jacob, the, uh, I'll see if the uh, drivers from Jacob work. But if not, I got, um, I have two interface, two new audio interfaces coming this week. So one of them is bound to work, right? Put a stockpile up front for bodies as a warning for the next raid. I was actually going to dig a grave. Out here for these fucking pesky raiders. P 
pesky pesky raiders where's it going all the way down there oh we could get a water well set up in here a primitive well oh yeah We need a bigger storage area and we probably need to set up like a kitchen some description as well okay let's haul this guy into his new home wonderful how are we doing for food not great we seem to be surviving though even though we're eating all this raw food We'll try to keep uh, our hygiene levels, like, up-ish. Make it so that we don't have to travel so far out of the base to wash. Yeah, I'm gonna get a campfire. I will get one soon. Okay, so... Structure, wooden wall. Um, I can't build any floors on swamps and stuff, can I? I have to, like, dry it out. I have to uh, dry, my, dry my eyes, mate. Build this. All out of wood. Oh my god, he's so fast at building. Psychoid leaves tons of them as well. Holy crap. Okay, let's just leave that for now. Who cares? We're not gonna do anything with that now. And anyway, later on, we could just grow a ton of them if we need them, right? You can build on the bridges. Uh, yeah, I know. I can just make wooden floor out of the bridges, too. It's just fine. I don't think you can build on the bridges. But we can... It's wood floor, and then we can just lay down some wood floor, so it should be fine, right? We're building a bigger crab shack? Yeah. Well, we gotta, we gotta store stuff. We need to set up a place where we can cook some meals and stuff, too. Uh, friendly AI from our past. So the AI location is over here. Where's our bay? Oh my god. Holy crap, that would take so long to get to. <laughs> well. Oh fuck, we're getting raided again. A group of tribes people from Campo of the Canyon are attacking immediately. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck that's fucking garbage. Come on. Fuck I hate this game. I fucking hate this game. Fuck me. That's so fucking annoying. We might be able to get back up. Where the fuck was he going? Why? Oh, fuck. Where the fuck was he going? There's no jobs out here even. Why was he over here? Oh, that's fucking so stupid. And then the fucking guy just chases you down with a fucking knife. Of course he fucking does. He might be able to get back up. I'm not sure, though. He's going to die in seven hours. He's in shock due to pain. Can you become unshocked for a second and treat yourself? Or not really? No? 
just you're just gonna be in shock for six hours until you die. God, really? He's in severe pain now. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god. What was he fucking doing over there? What the fuck was he doing over there, though? Why was he over there? Why? There's not there's not a single job over there. There is told to do nothing over there. Why why was he over there? No, there's no berries. There's nothing. It's so stupid. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck it's so stupid. The the fucking AI is, is 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 beyond fucking stupid in this game. It's pretty bad in Oxygen not included as well, worth mentioning. Uh, but in, in Rimworld it's especially bad. Fuck. It drives me nuts. Cloud gazing. Fuck's sake. He wanted to haul tribalware? There was no tribalware out there. There was nothing. There was no haul jobs. There was n there were no jobs out there. And he just gets fucking stuck out there and stabbed by a fucking guy in a loincloth. Fucking unbelievable. Make a restricted area and restrict him? Fucking fuck this game. Fuck, I hate it. Fuck, it's so stupid. What are we going to play now? Fuck, I don't feel like playing anything. I just want to be angry and by myself. Oh, it's so annoying. We had it. We we had like a a trap, kill box, everything. We were fine there. We were going to be fine. We could have built into the mountain and stuff. Oh my god. It's always something stupid. It's always just some fucking bullshit. And it doesn't matter how good your melee skill is in this game. It uh, the stat is worthless. It means fucking nothing. God, they fucking a guy with a shitty knife takes you down. Even if you're in marine armor, it's fucking so stupid. Oh god. Go to sleep. Oh, fuck. Got to zone him to stay safe. Hmm. Make a restrict area. Fucking whatever. And then he's just gonna starve and die because he's stupid as well if you restrict him in a restricted area. Read a book on stream. Oh my god. Use combat extended. Oh, doesn't that give ammo and shit too though? Which is just like, oh, kill me now. Ammo in this game would just be the worst. Do a rage jacking sesh. X call. Oh my god. I I have over 600 games in my Steam library. I feel like playing approximately zero of them. How is this possible? Fuck gaming sucks nowadays. Like all like what what games do you have to look forward to? We're making a mobile version of your favorite IP. Fuck's sake. Really? Oh my god. <sighs> Mario Maker. Oh. We're making a battle royale mode in your favorite IP. We're, you guys are gonna be so excited about this, this new, this new thing that we're working on. It's got an SSD in it. If you told me that ten years ago, I would have been excited about that. Nowadays, not so much. 
Uh, what the fuck, Microsoft? Jeez. Why don't you play that new zoo game? You know what? I pre-ordered it, actually. I have it here in my Steam library. I purchased it yesterday. Planet Zoo. Oh, it looks really good. But when I right-click on it, I can't install it. It just says, view the community hub. Build a world for wildlife in Planet Zoo. From the developers of Planet Coaster and Zoo Tycoon comes the ultimate zoo sim. Construct detailed habitats, manage your zoo, and meet authentic living animals who think, feel, and explore the world you create around them. That sounds pretty nice, actually. That I could definitely go for. Oops. It looked like it looks like Planet Coaster crashed. Oh, what was I doing at the time? Nothing. I was just trying to launch the game. The Planet Coaster Crash Reporter is now uploading my my crash thing. Path of Exile. Oh god, I can't get into that game. I can't get into it at all. I just I don't know. I just I just can't do it. It's, no, I don't think it's a game for me. I've tried many times getting into it, and I just... I never know what anything does. There's too much stuff 